All right, guys, like I said, there was something up with that squirrel there, but um, we'll never know. Um, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on this video. We greatly appreciate you checking our uh, video out. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. We would love for you to join our family. Um, as well as if you are new and you're not aware, we actually have a membership that we show behind the scene footage of us actually filming our videos and then a lot of footage of just Steph and the kids doing things while I'm at work. So um, there's no contract or anything like that, but we would love for you to go check it out. And um, yeah, if you don't like it, I understand. If you do, thank you so much. And we'd like to thank each and every one of y'all that have already been members. Some of y'all been members for over a year. And we greatly appreciate that. Y'all don't know how much that actually helps around um, taking care of the animals and, and allowing us to do other things. So anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this stuff started. These leaves wear me out. There's tons of leaves in here. So I think it's, I think it's funny. Harley won't eat his food. He'll bring it over here to the side and actually eat it over here, but unfortunately he's going to lose that because I'm going to clean this out. Boy. Huh? At least it's nice and cool under this meet the the shade. Right? The leaves is this is the second year in a row that the cons been didn't produce. So that's usually we get the cons every other year over here we're going to water the, the the rest of the garden i think the corn's done but i'm still going to water them and then the tomatoes and stuff back there in the back and our uh cucumbers is about the only thing that that may well uh layton's got him a, a cantaloupe back there he's watching so we planted way too many um cucumbers and they kind of like overtook but it's all right. And then I think we're going to go ahead and let the chickens out and let them run around a little bit. Um, we got some more grub terra for them. And if you have chickens and you've ever fed them grub terra, you know what I'm talking about. Them chickens love grub terra. Ours literally will come up and eat out of our hands. So we'll, we may do that here in just a little bit. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, hopefully tomorrow we can go do some things with the kids and um, have a little bit of fun and shoot some more video. But for the most part on the on the home our new homestead, we're still on a standstill waiting. I think a lot of it's got to do with the, the price of lumber and stuff. So hopefully, I'm hoping the next couple of weeks we hear something. So please continue praying on that. We're so ready to to move out to our new place. Yes, we are. Let's see if we can find Layton's cantaloupe in here. Yeah. There's his cantaloupe right there. Hopefully we can we can get it to make. I know we've probably got the worst looking garden there is. I know we've probably got the worst looking garden there is, but a lot of people was getting, uh, you know, making comments about, you know, we had our corn too close and yeah, we did, but um, we was limited to space. So, I mean, obviously I'd like to win a lot further, but um, I just don't want to draw a lot of attention to my neighbors and landlords and our landlord. Um, I don't want to get no complaints. So I just try to, Plant a little bit so the kids could have fun with it and experience it and it's worked so and this is what you know what it's all about is just you know teaching the kids teaching the kids that's what it's all about and then once we move out to the the new place they will already have an ideal and then we can do what we um 
are really wanting to do so and i think going back on the corn stuff with the kids i don't think it got they watered it but i don't think they watered it enough well who knows they might have watered it too much i don't know it, um i know it doesn't get very much sun just because of the shade but uh next year we're definitely going to do some reading up on it and uh definitely try to figure out what we did wrong boy them chickens are getting so big We're down to 3 a.m. Samadis. And of course, I walk around here, and I bet you Addison and them actually looked for their hat yesterday. Well, here's her hat. This, I believe this is the hat that she's supposed to be wearing today in the ball game. So, um, I, you know, if you got kids, you know what we're talking about. They run, they scatter everything out. So, um, we just deal with it. it. It's hard to keep up with four of them, especially at the age they are. We had some cucumbers in here that were starting to get pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, they're still small. They're still small, so we'll wait until the kids get there and, and let them pick them. So now let's run into the house, and I'm going to show you the surprise. I'm pretty excited. If you're a guy, you'll probably definitely be excited if you was in my shoes. I was uh, very thankful of this that my wife allowed me to get I say that she ain't controlling I'm just aggravating so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and get it out and there's not enough room in the shop right now like I say we got tons of boxes and um, we're starting to make the flags and stuff again so I'm gonna bring it out here and we'll open it up so I wasn't joking look at that we got boxes everywhere That's right guys, look at it. I'm super excited. It, I've used the chop saw that I've had for about uh, for about three years now. And um, you know, we was going through uh, Home Depot the other day and I seen it and I was like, wow, that's that's pretty cheap compared to what I paid to, for my other one. Um, it's actually got a, um, I think it's a 15 inch cut. So we're going to go ahead and uh, there ain't probably much to put it together, but we're going to go ahead and open it up real quick and see what it looks like. kinds of goodies in here that's going to be the, the actual sawdust bag and I cannot stand the sound of this oh it didn't do it I guess there is going to be a few pieces to actually put this together always need the manual check it out that's a lot bigger than what I thought it was well huge they're Wumba 12s well I used to not be able to cut a Wumba 12 but I can guarantee you I can cut a Wumba 12 now for sure now we just got to figure out 
this other stuff here. I know the dust bag will go right here, but what I'll probably do, I'll put, I'll probably put my uh, uh, shop vac on this, and it actually cuts, catch the dust. And this is probably going to hold the wood. And this, I have no clue. Oh, it's going to be. It's going to help keep the uh, the wood balance. So there it is, guys. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to actually get a piece of wood and actually start cutting, which we've been doing a little bit of cutting, but I haven't got into the cutting, cutting like we usually do. So that, that'll be coming up here pretty soon. As you see, we've let the chickens out and I'm getting ready to get some, um, we'll feed them. Uh oh, got another chicken fight. So they have, she has two babies and that hen has been like trying to pick on her babies. But mama's got to stop to it. So um, it, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go check out our membership. We have the basic member and VIP. Basic member, you get pictures throughout the week. And then the actual VIP, we put out two to three videos. It may be a video from three minutes to anywhere to 15 minutes. So we would greatly appreciate it if you go check it out. It's not a contract or anything, so please go check it out. If you don't like it, just opt out of it. We would greatly appreciate it. And we would also like to thank each and every one of y'all that are members. Thank y'all so much for being members. We greatly appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the video content. I know some of it is crazy, but a lot of the stuff we film isn't things that we just put in an actual regular video. So we just make little shorts and stuff and put it over there. And not only that, you know, with the membership, it helps with the feed and all other kinds of stuff we do around here. So thank y'all so much. And let's go have some fun. Guys, we're going to go over here and see if we can actually get the chickens rounded up. And we're going to let them eat some grub terra. Ain't that right, girls? Huh? Come here, girls. Here. Kick, 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 kick. Look at mama over there. We'll see if we can get a little closer to mama. Come here, girls. Y'all want some grub terra? They love this stuff. Here. Give some for the babies. Look at the babies. Come here, girls. Trying to get them so they move away from the baby. Get them away from the baby, it'd be awesome. Some babies back there minding their own business. That's awesome. Hey, girl. There you go. It's so good that the chickens will eat out of your hand. They love it. So anyways, guys, if you're interested in purchasing some, some of this Grub Terra, just a second, I'll raise it back up. There you go. I'm gonna throw some over there for the babies to get. So anyways, guys, if you're interested in purchasing any of this Grub Terra, the Black Soldier Fly Lava, I encourage you to go down into the description box below. There is a coupon code. If you will type in Rustic Woodwork, the abbreviations, you will get 10% off on a but whichever size bag. If you want a one pound bag, three pound bag, five pound bag, if you want a 10 pound bag. Um, like I say, this isn't the first time that we've actually fed this. Um, we was feeding it back uh, probably several months ago when we had a bunch of little bitty uh, baby chicks and so they sent some more so we thought we would uh, make another video of it 
and hopefully if you do try it please leave it in the comment box down below if you've already tried it or if you've already made a video please leave it in the comment box below so thank each and every one of y'all for watching if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell that way you don't miss any of our latest videos thank you and god bless all right guys as you see this is a mess in here the shop these birds have took over we have finally moved all the birds outside they're big enough to go outside and I am now taking my shop back to start doing some more woodwork, which I'm going to build a bunch of crosses. But tonight, we are cleaning the shop, getting rid of a lot of stuff. So, ugh, bugs are just all over, and I do not like them. Uh, Kaysen actually got stung again earlier today. Um, I found the nest and ended up getting that taken care of. Like I say, this is... Uh, I don't know where we'll put this video, but most of it be fast forwarded because I'm going to be listening to music while I clean and we'll just see how it works. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs>